Hey everybody, I'm just putting together the clips from this morning's run and I realise that it's the 100th day that I've been focusing on achieving my goal which is um, training for the Brighton Marathon next year and um, I mean it's a bigger goal than that really because once a Brighton Marathon, if you like, is complete and perhaps before that I want to participate in even more events and I'm getting my stamina now to a point where I can actually participate in a 5k and a 10k and it'd be great if I could do a half marathon in the not too distant future as well. But anyway, enough of me talking, check out the uh, clips from this morning, see what you think. It was my first ever trail style run um, and I finished at 9k. So take a look and see. about to embark on the correct run, the run that I tried to do a few weeks ago that didn't quite come off as I expected. And so we are at the top of Pewley Hill in Guildford and we are running to Newlands Corner. So this should be a pretty straightforward run from kind of one hill to the other, should be. However, if you've seen my previous video, which I will link uh, below or perhaps up here or one of those places that it appears, you will see that I took an incorrect route and ended up somewhere slightly different. However, we are going to attempt to get it correct today. That is the plan. What I've also got today is a new running belt to use. I've been using a, a kind of a Caramore running belt, which I'll go into a little bit more detail about in another video. But today I'm using the uh, Salomon Advanced uh, Skin 3. I'm trying to get hold of it here in my hand. Here it is, Salomon Advanced Skin 3. Uh, soft flask as well, which is great because last time I came up here to hold a hold a water bottle which is a bit of a pain so uh, yeah I'm going to get this started hopefully I'm getting some nice footage as well of the landscape it's nice weather at the moment it's nine o'clock in the morning I'm talking quite fast because I want to get out on the trail so I shall see you in a mo. What stunning and glorious countryside we have. Look at this. What a place to start running. Um, the wildlife are out, I can hear them. So uh, yeah, let's get this started. Hopefully on the right trail now and uh, we'll see how we go. A little bit dicey on this trail so far. Whew. Testing out the trail running shoes. Thank goodness I didn't wear my road shoes for this. Wow. Here we are running. Still not entirely sure if I'm on the right uh, path, but uh, it's pretty enjoyable. Beautiful, beautiful location. Just not sure where I'm going. So this is a challenge, <laughs> running on sand, wow, it's a real killer for the legs. <sighs> 2k in, pretty taxing on the body. The first real, I guess, trail-like route I've ever run. So. Making the most of it, enjoying it, but uh, it's a real test, that's for sure. And uh, I still don't really know where this is going to come out. Hopefully I'm not going to it wrong again. <sighs> Good news and some uh, bad news. Bad news is I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I'll show you the image in a moment. I'm hoping this path leads me there. I need to be up here. Um, now, this little place here. It's St Martha's Hill, a uh, beautiful hill, and uh, all sand, wrong way up to the church at the top. I don't think quite up to that today, so I'm going to head over here 
and hope it takes me somewhere, but I'm kind of running blind at the moment. Still a bit unsure how to get over there. Not quite going to plan. I'm still the wrong side. Uh, don't really know what to do, to be honest with you. Uh, I think I'll keep going and then turn around and go back. But, uh, well, will I ever find the destination? <sighs> Who knows? I was winning at the moment. I've uh, resorted to a walk because, uh, well, after nearly 5k, I'm a bit exhausted. And uh, this is my first trail run, so I'm just taking it easy. I'm following the public right away. I assume this is correct. All I'm focusing on at the moment is the fact that my destination is on my right, so every route I take needs to be going that direction. But uh, yeah, I've just reduced it to a walk at the moment. GPS still on, still tracking, but it's not going to be for timing today for sure. It's going to be for distance. And uh, I have to say, I'm absolutely loving it. I just wish I knew where I was going. Oh dear. 5k in just over 32 minutes, which considering the last, I don't know, half a k, I've been kind of walking because of this thing. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. And uh, so I can hear the traffic. I don't know that the road leads alongside the uh, destination, so I can only hope and pray that it's nearby. But uh, we're going to make it. If I have to walk there, I will. Of course, not forgetting the fact that when I get there, I've then got to run back. But my plan is to run the direction of my starting point, because I think I've just got, I've missed a, a road somewhere, that's what it is. I've missed a link road and I've taken myself off route. But hopefully, by doing it in the reverse, I will be able to find it. I'm making progress. That's where I was not too long ago. So we're on the right path. Okay, so I've made it. Wasn't too far off in the end. So now that I've made it, I'm gonna run down there, past that bench just here. Oh, make a hard right head back towards where I start and hopefully it's a pretty straight, simple route. We'll see how we go. Okay, so I was right over here before, so my fingers were right there. Now this is a much kinder route, check that out. Don't believe it. If you watch my previous video, you will know that I ran to this point, thought I was lost, turned around and ran back. All I had to do was go there, another K and I was been at the destination. So I've ran completely out of my way today, but uh, I'm enjoying it nonetheless. So at the moment we're at uh, just over six and a half K, probably gonna be eight K by the time I get back. And uh, we will stop there and head home. <sighs> what are the chances? Fast approaching eight and a half K. I'm now towards the latter half of the run on the way back. So I imagine it shouldn't be too much further before I reach the, the car and my start point I'm guessing now it's going to be around about 9k but we'll just see how we go and this is what we get to run out onto I am done and uh, absolutely elated with that the fastest 10k is 55 minutes I've just done 9k on the trails in 57.12 so considering the complete difference and contrast of the uh, environment I was running in, the 10k is relatively flat with a couple of hills and this of course was a different ball game altogether. <sighs> Return to base. Learned a lot of lessons today. <laughs> Obviously now I know the quicker route to get from one point to the other. Um, but you know what? I really love what I did today. And uh, I think the unexpected also helped as well. There was a period where I needed to just walk because that hill was pretty steep. And I didn't really know at that point what was ahead of me, so I didn't want to exert all my energy and then find myself completely stuck. So uh, we're now back at the car. And uh, time to go home, hit the recovery smoothie, foam roller, and uh, get some nutrition in. Okay, I am back at base, so uh, all showered and sorted. Next stop, recovery smoothie, 
gonna have some tofu scramble veggies uh, for breakfast and I've got a big kind of platter of fruit thereafter so um, I'll do an analysis of the data in the next clip uh, but I just want to uh, show a bit of love again for the Brooks Caldera this is the shoe that I ran in this morning uh, it appears I brought half the forest back in my uh, in between my toes. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but I guess all that sand and things uh, crept in over time. Uh, just to be really reflective as well, what a great run, really, really enjoyable. And it was just good fun. Uh, I didn't really feel any fatigue at all. I felt really, really good. What I'm starting to notice now, I've kind of uh, begun to rest, is that towards um, the end, on the route back, you'll notice that the hill I was on kind of had this sort of gradient consistently round. So that meant that as I was running, obviously my foot was, was slightly angled, um, especially on the right side. I felt the pressure on the right side. So the right hand side of my shin um, is feeling a little bit more tender than normal. But I have to appreciate that I've used different muscles to the muscles I would normally use doing my more familiar routes. So I think it's actually been good for me to get out there and test myself and push myself. And like I say, um, okay, I went completely wrong <laughs> for the second time. But it's not a problem because actually I found a route that was far more enjoyable and I got to be out in the open air for much longer. And um, yeah, a really, really great start to the day. And it's only, I don't know, half ten or something in the morning. So, hey... If you can pack all of those things in before midday, it's always a good start. So I'll analyse the data in the next video, um, but thank you very much for tuning in to this point. Okay, let's try a little voiceover. So this is the distance travelled today, so I'm really pleased, obviously, with that performance. I was able to make it to the 9K mark, which um, works out to be 5.6 miles, so that's really good, and 57.12, great time, I think, for me. They are my two personal records for the 5K and the 10K. Always good to note, uh, something to keep track of. As you can see, my splits are relatively consistent uh, leading up to 5 and 6K where I had to stop to walk because of that nasty little hill section. And then I returned to a pretty consistent form thereafter, which I'm pleased with. That works for me. Now, this here is my personal record, which I'm really pleased with because that was actually achieved on the last k so if you consider everything i've done before that point to hit a personal record for that section at least um it was really really pleasing and reassuring for me so i'm quite proud of myself for that performance there right at the very end now who knew this section had been named the big hill killer and they were not wrong when they gave it that name there you'll see me trekking across the wilderness trying to get from one side to the other and finding myself uh, having to face a pretty steep uh, nasty climb which I didn't expect at that point and then after that section uh, it continues climbing um, it does ease off slightly and I found it an, an simpler to at least break into a jog at this point but certainly leading up to the final destination it uh, took a little bit of uh, power out of me